What do you generally do when your remote control starts playing up? Do you generally use a multimeter and check the voltage and current produced by the battery? Or do you point your remote control to a digital camera and try to visualize the infrared light? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a simple infrared receiver circuit using TSOP4838 and will also show you how to read the code sent by the remote controls. You can also use this circuit as an IR remote tester. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume, colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can order advanced PCBs, aluminum PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need at the greatest extent. Let's first have a look at the setup without an Arduino. The main component of this circuit is the infrared receiver TSOP4838. The TSOP4838 is tuned to 38kHz which is typically the frequency range of a TV remote control. From left to right, pin number 1 is output pin, pin number 2 is ground and pin number 3 is VCC. Just remember, the pin assignments can be different depending upon the TSOP variant. So, please be very careful while hooking it up to your circuit. Now let's have a look at the setup. Connect pin number 2 of the IR receiver to the negative and pin number 3 to the positive terminal of the battery. Then connect the negative pin of the LED to pin number 1 of the IR receiver and the positive pin to the positive terminal of the battery by placing a current limiting resistor in between them. To reduce the flickering rate of the LED, you can add a capacitor anything between 10 to 100 microfarad between pin number 3 and VCC of the circuit. That's it. Easy as that. Now let's do a quick test. As you can see, when I press any button on the remote control, the LED starts flickering. TSOP4838 demodulates the signal received from the remote control and gives the output in the form of active low to the LED. Adding a capacitor will lower the flickering rate of the LED. The supply voltage has to be strictly between 5 to 6 volts. Now let's set this up using a microcontroller and try to read the demodulated signals. Connect the positive pin of the IR receiver to 5V, negative to ground and the out pin to the pin number 2 of the Arduino. You can also add an optional LED to this setup to get a visual effect when the receiver decodes the signal. Now go ahead and launch the Arduino IDE and go to Tools, Manage Libraries. Download and install the latest release of the IR remote library from the library manager. Then go to Examples and open the simple receiver example. Go ahead and load the code without making any modifications to the Arduino board. For this demo, I'm using a Panasonic and a Sony remote control. The decoded data will be shown using the Arduino IDE serial monitor. As you can see, when I press a button on the remote control, the LED lights up and the decoded data is displayed on the serial monitor. The serial monitor displays a lot of information, but the one of my interest is the source and the command sent by the remote control. Some common uses of this project includes controlling devices using a remote control, decoding data sent over IR, troubleshooting remote controls, lighting up LED strip near your TV whenever you press a button on the remote control. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.